Understanding a data model. In this training, you will learn to understand a data model. But before we dive in, it's good to have a context. This is a table, a simple table with first and last names. And these are a bunch of tables. Along with, for example, text files, this is a lot of information which we store in a database. That database is the foundation of software, the software that's used every day. For example, in the HR department. Every time you search for someone's data, or you consult a report of something you wrote in the past, you are actually searching for data in one of the tables or files in the underlying database. And, as soon as you enter new data, you are filling the database with data. This is how the whole department works. Everyone is in fact constantly filing and consulting a database. This also applies to the marketing department, the sales department, purchasing, finance, logistics. All departments work with their own software and accompanying databases, in some cases even with different software packages and different databases. In this situation, we have at least two problems. One is analysis. The database hiding behind our everyday software is set up in such a way that you can search for small amounts of data and you can quickly save the data you enter. It's not designed to extensively analyze all the collected data. And two, departments can't exchange data with each other. But these problems are solved by a data warehouse. That's a database too, but it's one that is designed to analyze data. And it's the place where the data from all different departments is collected. External data can also be added, such as market information, information about weather or traffic, and, for example, demographic data. Information generated by machines, for example in a production process, can also be added to the data warehouse, just like manual imports of important data. A data warehouse has several advantages. To start with, a central view of the organization is created, and it is possible to express all the operational components in figures and link them to each other. In addition, a data warehouse doesn't just blindly copy all the data from the operational database, but ensures that all errors and irregularities are corrected. The quality of the data is therefore very high. This also creates one version of the truth. A product from one system sometimes has a code that is very different from that of another system, and one department uses different definitions than another one. In a data warehouse, this is no longer possible. Everything is uniform and has a fixed definition, and there is one truth. The speed at which the data warehouse can supply huge amounts of data is incomparable. That's because of the way the tables in the database are designed. We call this a data model. In this training, we teach you to understand the data model of a data warehouse, so that you will be able to use it for your reports. Why a specific data model? First, let's take a look at our daily activities. When we're at the office using a CRM system, that system stores all our data in an underlying database. That means that everything we do is stored in a database, and that database has a structure. Well, that structure is simply nothing more or less than a framework that deals with how the tables are related to each other. In a so-called OLTP, or Online Transaction Processing Database, that is normalized. That means that data is never duplicated. Let's take as an example a customer table that holds orders. In such an OLTP system, another table is attached below the customer table, the orders table. And attached to that order table is another table which contains all the order lines. There can also be another table attached directly to the customer table, for example, reportage on meetings. This is a simple example of a standard OLTP structure. The same type of structure is used in CRM systems, financial systems, ERP systems, and almost all software that you use daily at your workplace. When someone asks you for a detailed report for a whole lot of customers, which includes a bunch of other data, it can quickly become a rather complex structure. This can cause problems. If someone is requesting this report from your OLTP database, then the database could be under huge pressure, and this will slow down your system badly. Of course, nobody wants that. Fortunately, the so-called OLAP architecture has been developed to solve these kinds of problems. OLAP is short for Online Analytical Processing. The moment you need analytical data, by using an analytical database, you will see that it uses another type of data model. It is still a database system, it still has tables, and it still works as a regular database system. But the big difference is that the framework is structured differently. 
The method of the relationship between the tables is different from the systems that you use daily. The database is completely optimized for analysis, which is a huge advantage compared to other systems. And there are more advantages. For example, you can input analytical calculations in advance, which will produce reports faster when producing the required data. Let's look at a summary of all the advantages of a data model. In this case, a dimensional model. First of all, it is readable. That's good, because if you look at a regular model of a daily database, it's quite complex. This is because it is normalized with many tables and relationships between those tables. The purpose of normalization is for all data to appear only once in the database. The dimensional model, on the other hand, is completely open. Everyone can read it and extract from the database model precisely what reporting formats are required. Of course, the model also has a technical background, and that background means that selections, also called queries, perform much better. If you've worked with queries, you will know that the more relationships you make between the tables in your query, the slower the query becomes. And the more complex the queries become, the slower the system becomes. What makes a dimensional model less complex? Well, a dimensional model is built in such a way that there are as few relationships between tables as possible. This means that different elements are not normalized, but just denormalized, which makes the system faster. A dimensional model is thus much less complex than the database model an OLAP system uses. This is because a dimensional model is not a system in which data is being updated. It is a system where you only read the data. There's also another advantage over a regular system. The system is very easy to expand. You can easily expand the tables without having to break or modify any application that uses this database. Furthermore, not everyone needs to be informed of these changes because adding a new table or a new field does not mean that the software that someone else is using will be impacted. There are thus many advantages to a dimensional model. But don't forget the most important advantage. A dimensional model is designed for data analysis. Therefore, you will never find a dimensional model as the source of an operational system.